Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com, and in my last video, you saw me make this little fellow. It's not paper mache. It's actually made out of freeform sculpt, which is an epoxy clay made by the Smooth On Company. This time, uh, I just want to show you how he turned out after I painted it. And I, I have to admit, I did not go to a whole lot of trouble or a whole lot of time to paint this guy. I was on a real time frame. Uh, deadline because as of about midnight tonight there's not going to be anything out in the garden that I wanted to put him next to. It's going to freeze really hard tonight um, and I wanted at least one or two flowers uh, in the photograph that I took so I, I hurried up. The reason that I painted it um, even though I actually kind of liked it when it was just gray um, I have been told on good authority from uh, a fellow that I met out on YouTube, I'm going to put a link to him down below, um, he mentioned that the epoxy clays, probably any brand, don't have any um, a way to prevent them from being destroyed by sun. Now obviously a lot of paint would be destroyed by the sun too, like artist paints, uh, acrylic paints. They're really not made for outside and so um, direct sunlight is just going to wipe them out. So I used um, paint that was made for outside of houses, house paint. It, it seemed just a little bit weird to use house paint for a sculpture, but this is actually the same thing that Dan Reeder uses on all of his dragons and monsters, and they come out great. So um, I had it on good authority that it would work. I did use a primer on it, uh, just a spray primer. Uh, I changed colors. I started out with a brown one. I decided, oh, I don't know, that's not going to work. And so I went with a black one over it. Um, I, I think the brown probably would have worked better. <laughs> but um, I was in a hurry, like I said, and I'm just making a whole lot of really fast decisions. I added a little bit of powdered pigments to my white house paint in order to make a nice soft gray. And I added the uh, house paint using a dry brush technique so that the little black stripes of the primer would uh, still show in that fur. Now I did add a little bit of brown acrylic paint to my latex paint to make that nice brown for his acorn. I do not recommend doing that. It's totally against the rules. Don't, I mean, even consider it. I went ahead and did it anyway <laughs> because that's just the way I do it. Um, I don't expect it to last as long. Uh, it will probably fade in the sun. It could even just totally flake off. I, I don't know. Uh, it, they're two incompatible uh, materials. You're not supposed to mix them together. I, but uh, like I said, I went ahead and did it anyway. He doesn't feel or look to me like something you would... Well, how do I say this? You wouldn't look at it and say, oh, that's made out of epoxy. That's that's plastic. That That's just not the way it feels. It It's fairly light, but not too light. And this has a very matte finish to it. It's kind of a... Um, well, it doesn't feel soft, but it looks soft, if that makes any sense at all. I, I just really like the way it came out. I will be using the house paint probably for a lot more projects maybe even ones that stay inside because I, I really like the way it looks. Now one last thing I wanted to mention was that I very specifically made this concrete block. I'm just going to use some more of the epoxy to attach him to this concrete block. And the reason that I made this block was because I was quite sure that this intersection here, the connection where the legs attach at the back end, um, I was just positive that if I sat it down really hard on a rock or something when you're moving things around out in the garden that I was going to crack that uh, connecting point right there. It just seemed like a just too skinny. Now that it's all cured and I've been messing around with it, I think I was actually wrong. This epoxy, uh, the freeform sculpt, or probably any epoxy clay, is really strong. And I don't think that... Well, I'm sure you could crack it, you could break it if you really worked at it, you know, bang it on the, on the concrete on purpose, you could, probably could, or maybe if you dropped it on a concrete uh, sidewalk from a long ways up, you could crack it. But under normal circumstances, I think that is perfectly okay, which is really kind of cool because that means that we could make really delicate things like um, hummingbirds, butterflies, um, you know, 
fairies or, or anything else that we want to put out in the yard. And it probably will hold up even if it's really skinny like that. Which is, that's really exciting to me. So that's the end of my um, epoxy clay project. <laughs> if you do make anything, be sure and come over to the blog ultimatepapermache.com and show off your work and let us know how it was made. I'd love to see you there. Thanks for watching.